All right, welcome to another STD TV Review Division production. And today we are going to do our first ever unboxing. But we did it yesterday, and we didn't took any, we didn't take any footage. So here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> an M4 or not? It, it, it's an it's an M4. It's an M4. Is it? It should be. Nah. nah. <laughs> All right. So, what the hell is this little thing? It's an M4 pistol by Ares, and as you can see, it's really, really small. But it takes AR-15 Max. Here we've got a standard version two gearbox M4, and which is almost the same thing here but ARS has modified version 2 gearbox and included some electronic gadgets like what? Uh, electronic firing control system uh, which means it doesn't have a typical fire selector uh, it has an electrical thingy inside yeah so a lot of well difficult things to understand for uh, people like me how does it work? how does it work? Well, first thing, uh, it can shoot single, burst and full auto. And with the help of this thing, we can modify the selector. We show this later. Yeah. The whole replica is made of really, really high quality polymer. And so the upper rail, the receiver, upper low receiver, almost everything is out, made of out of uh, polymer except some screws here and there which are which are you know aluminium something like that and of course i think the steel how do you call it sling sling swivel whatever generally the the finish is really really nice it, it's this particular ag it's not that expensive but really the plastic feels like the really good tokyo marui one Mag release Mag is release. massive. I love it. It's much bigger than a standard AR-15 uh, replicas, and it's really easy to feel and press like this. Uh, the trigger guard uh, is really nice finished, and it has some really nice curves here and there. So it looks really, really nice and looks badass right here and there. Uh, unfortunately, the replica is not ambidextrous. So all those lefties out there, sorry, it's extremely for righties. All right, so the fire selector, like standard AR-15, only on the left side, not here. On this side, we have no markings except for the fire selector. On this side, the only markings are here, and here we've got the stamped logo of Amoeba Ares and 5.56 mm NATO and a serial number, and I have no idea if it's a regular serial number here, right? I don't know if it's individual. If you have ever had Magpul's pistol grip in your hand, this feels similar. It doesn't look exactly like the Magpul's one, uh, those MOE or whatever, uh, but the feel when you feel it, really nice, really nice, and it has the plate here, and it's a it's an open plate, so when the engine, the motor is too hot, well, the air can just cool it. Butter compartment is here, so we press those two, and voila. But the compartment is quite long, but the best uh, is to use these types of batteries, right? those LiPos. We, we didn't try with 11.1, we used 7.4, well, uh, 1100 milli, ampere, milli, milli something, and it worked quite nice. Uh, quite nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why Ares and most uh, AG producers keep putting those mini Tamiya uh, plugs into the replicas instead of using Deans or T. It's much easier, better and uh, the efficiency 
is better. This particular version doesn't come, I don't know if you see it, with a flash hider. Right, so this one doesn't come with a flash hider. There are two more and one comes with a flash hider. Uh, our version doesn't have a foregrip here, it's just like a small hand stop. But maybe like this. For small hands. So really small hands. And, but again, it's quite comfortable. To adjust the hop up, you need to pull this and hold. And the hop up unit is stored. Can you show it? Yeah, it's it's here. It's, it's not a standard hop up chamber you, you've seen in GPs or whatever, but I've seen those in VFCs and uh, ICS. ICS. It's a really, really efficient, really, really good hop up chamber. It's plastic, but again, if the plastic is as good as the, the receiver, so it won't break easily. As I mentioned before, this particular model doesn't come with a flash hider, but thanks to Ares, we've got this. And this is a dedicated to this replica, this little uh, silencer with an inner barrel. And simply, you just screw it. So, we get additional 10 centimeters of inner barrel, and it looks much better. The replica comes with a high capacity magazine and this is what we do with high caps. We use our favorite Hey Fuck Face back pulls Emacs and they fit very nice. But ah, too nice. Too nice. But we love these. And thanks to our adapter. We've got something like that. And this is hotter. <laughs> I think that every uh, AEG from Ares now has this firing controlling uh, system, and which allows you to modify the fire selector. So you can have single fire, burst, and auto. Right, and you can cha you can choose between those three. And to do it, you need this. Right, and in a moment we're going to show you how to change the fire selectors with this one. All right, so we are going to show you how to program this little M4 pistol using Ares battery something turbo connector device. Some tingish. So we just take off this rubber caps. And take it here. Uh, as the sign says, we plug plug the programmer to the replica and the other end to the battery. And we hear a nice beep. So now we choose which the, the type of battery. It's a two cell lipo, so we change it here to the two cell lipo, and now. Uh, which is programmed by choosing the mode with the switch. We program it with the safe, three rounds burst and auto. And now just simply push enter and when oh, wait for a sign signal and it's uh, programmed. Let's see how it works. The single fire is now three round burst and auto is auto so nice nice thing I change it now we will change it to another another settings yeah. like uh, semi if no auto and semi semi and three burst and it's done. And now for the semi. And auto. Yeah. And now let's shoot the cameraman. Who is Eric?
15 meters. All right, uh, here we've got our uh, targets and here are the results on the short barrel single fire. As you can see, the target area is quite consistent and it's mostly this area and so it's quite nice. Then, can we take another one? Here we've got short barrel uh, auto fire and the consistency is even better. Most of the shots are in this area with a couple of here, here, and so really, really nice. Here we've got the results with the long barrel, meaning the short inner barrel from the replica and the inner barrel from the silencer uh, are not always in perfect line. That's why the results on single fire are, as you can see, well, most of the shots are not in the area where they should be, right? Can we see the auto? And with the auto fire, well, the consistency is much better with the long barrel. So most of the shots are here, but generally our results were much, much better with the short inner barrel. Barrel. Blah, barrel. And for the final word. So uh, at the beginning we took it to a regular skirmish in the forest against regular AEGs with 1,000 million FPSs, and it turned out that it is not its place. Uh, this little beast uh, can be very, very, very useful in other roles. Just as you saw in our intro video, like a sniper backup weapon. Excellent choice, especially if the sniper runs with AR-15 platform. Then you have the same max, you just, you know, put your sniper rifle away, take these and spray and pray against enemies at close range. You won't hurt them, but you will kill them. Now, uh, extreme close quarter but Yes, 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 it's so very useful. So when you not need any stock or anything, you just need, you know, very tight figure. Yeah, you just do this, something like that, and... Very cool close quarter weapon, web close quarter weapon, good, okay? Uh, with not that high FPS, so you won't, you know, kill anyone, which you will eliminate. And for the final, I guess, any LARPs, right? Yes, 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 yes. Something yes, like and, and Matrix course, style bodyguard. Yeah, with the two of them and just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just hide it uh, beneath your suit. As a concealed weapon, yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's a very good. Yeah. Very good, because it's very efficient at the close range, right? And it's very easy to hide. So, in these areas, I guess it's a perfect choice. Yes, yes, yes. Especially, for, especially if you've got some other replicas from Ares with firing uh, control units. Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty neat too. It, it, it's, it's very good. So, if you know what this, this little beast is for, and you need the beast in that role, just get it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>